Thanks for staying with us. As thousands prepare to observe majority rule in the country this Tuesday, the governing Progressive Liberal Party hosted the first in a series of town halls at the Fox Hill Community Center. The event attracting a wide cadre of young professionals who educated residents on the history, significance, and impact of this important moment in Bahamian history. Event coordinator and vice president of the Senate, Barry Griffin. Majority rule was a pinnacle time in our country's history where we would have achieved social and political emancipation. And so this current generation is calling for economic emancipation. And um, the PLP has always said there were three tiers to our mission. And so now it's the third part of our mission, economic emancipation. And so we wanted to create a forum that not only talked about the past and the history of majority rule, but also talked about the present and where we're going to go from here. So January 10th, 1967 represented the emergence of the Black Bahamian governance with the responsibility of helping Bahamians lead their own affairs and their future on the road to independence. Chief Technology Officer at Arawak X, the R.C. Ramming Jr., and Executive Director of the Access Accelerator Small Business Development Center, Samantha Roll, spoke about the role entrepreneurship plays towards economic emancipation of Black Bahamians. The question is whether or not we have advanced to a point where we feel like owners, not only feel but are, right? And so I think it's important for us to continue the fight. We have achieved quite a bit. Um, our forefathers before us, our fighters before us, our freedom fighters before us have achieved quite a bit for the Bahamas. But the fight is not over. The reality is life is hard. Life is always going to be hard. But we need tools and mechanisms that allow us, when we say, okay, I'm going to take some of my destiny in my own hands, um, I need to be able to move my dollars and save them and have them work for me so that when bad times come, we have things to lean on. We have assets to lean on.